The context of Jeremiah 6 is that God is warning Jerusalem in great detail of judgment to come. Verse 19 explains why. Listen all the earth, I will bring disaster on my people. It is the fruit of their own schemes because they refuse to listen to me. They have rejected my word. And the irony here as Jeremiah acknowledges it is that no one will hear this warning because they've closed their ears to God's voice. Listen to verse 10. To whom can I give warning? Who will listen when I speak? Their ears are closed and they cannot hear. They scorn the word of the Lord. But here is what this text can teach us about God. Number one, God is merciful. Even here, God is patient enough to warn anyone who would listen. Second, God is love. Hebrews tells us that God disciplines his children as a loving father does. And third, God is the giver of all wisdom. Jeremiah is foretelling the huge historic event of Babylon conquering Jerusalem before it even happened. It's important to note that the people of Jerusalem didn't just wake up one day and able to hear God's voice. This was years of choosing disobedience. The verbiage used says that they closed their ears. Much like we close our eyes to avoid seeing something, they willfully closed their ears until they got too good at tuning God out. So today, as you navigate life in our culture, as you're asked to compromise your faith in God's law and your commitment to living godly, Use verse 16 to help you make these decisions. This is what the Lord says. Stop at the crossroads and look around. Ask for the old godly way and walk in it. Travel its path and you will find rest for your souls.